Whatever, thanks for keeping me on, me on my toes. I don't know what you're going to call <clears throat> Okay, my three priorities. You know, years ago, in fact, one thing I forgot to mention, I was a county commissioner from 1992 to 2000. And during that time, I was there when Navita was created. And one of the other things that was created that has since been dropped that I'd like to revi uh, revitalize or, or resurrect is the uh, mayor's, what they call the mayor's bag group, business advisory group. You know, there's a lot of uh, organizations right now that have difficulties in dealing with the city as far as uh, business development. And uh, I mean, little things, whether you're a banker, whether you're a realtor, whether you're a home builder. There are issues that, that I recognize are there. And so the, the mayor back then, Mayor Ruben Smith, created the bag. And I think it's a good, uh, it was a good venue, but I think it needs to be re uh, resurrect resurrected. Uh, the other thing I'd like to see is utilizing the tax increment financing. Ironically, it was pulled off the, uh, the uh, agenda the other day. Uh, that would have been something there that would allow uh, businesses that are having a hard time to develop to be able to utilize some bond money and then uh, build their uh, business up. And uh, it really helped them a lot. And one of the areas that we were looking to do was in actually in District, uh, District 1, I believe. District 1 or District 4. So I mean, these are areas there that, that could use some revitalization by having this uh, tax increment financing uh, district or proposal. I think that would be very beneficial. And then the last thing, <coughs> excuse me, is to create a type of an enterprise zone, and I want to target the downtown area. Much like the SBA has some low interest loans for businesses, I think if we can somehow attract some, let's say, take for example some restaurants, they can have some low interest loans to start their businesses there in the downtown area, it can just add to it. I know we're looking to do some great things in downtown, I want to continue doing that, and those are the three things over that I'd uh, like to see us uh, moving in that direction. Thank you very much, Ken. Recycling, and it came out it came out that um, a lot of the residents do want recycling; they just don't want to pay for it. And you know what? There are some companies out there that uh, our staff is looking into that will recycle uh, plastic, paper, aluminum, glass. And basically, what they want is they they'll I think what they're wanting is the city to be able to provide the containers, and then they'll pick it up and they'll keep the proceeds. And I think really that's a good uh, opportunity. We still can recycle doesn't cost the residents any money, and yet you have a company that can make some money off the recycling. And I think that's the direction that we need to take. I say that the actual structure of, of uh, the way we have it right now is working, but it needs to be better to extend it lengthwise. For example, I, saw, I participated in an annexation that took only three months to get through. I think it should be at least six months. But I think that the way the structure is, is so that it allows the public to have more opportunity to hear exactly what's being said, what's being discussed, so we can take their thoughts and considerations uh, into, into, uh, into matter. So I think that that basically is what I would like to see. Again, is just to have, little, have the opportunity to take this. As mayor, I would go to all six districts and make sure that all of the residents are informed through town hall meetings to get this thing uh, totally understood. As the mayor said, this is a tough issue. You know, I um, come from family from law enforcement. I, I was chairman of the uh, public safety committee. Our police department, I think, is tops in the state. You know, they're good, hard-working men and women. Uh, I earlier in the year uh, proposed that uh, we provide life insurance for them if, if something should happen to them while they're on duty. Uh, they have my, I'm, I'm their biggest supporter. But I have to say, I think it's time that as our town is growing, as our city is growing, that we need to look at some type of mechanism that allow that we work with the police department, we work with our res residents, so that they have an opportunity to have to have some of their concerns shared with uh, with, with the manager or the city council. So I think that that's that's my response to that. Answer the question, Governor. Uh, yes, is uh, absolutely. Uh, one of the other things I just want to also point out, this kind of alluded to, is we can't become complacent either. You know, we need to recognize that science, excuse me, science and technology are the, are the engines for economic development. And so even simple things that we need to do as a city to help foster that uh, partnership is as simple as putting in, helping Quest get certain T1 lines in, in areas for high-speed internet. I mean, there are areas in the city that just have, have no access to that. And I think that that's just one example. Uh, 
Great, having great schools is another. You know, a lot of times, and then great workforce. A lot of times, businesses don't want to move here if they don't have a place for their for their workers to have a great education for their kids, as well as a good workforce. So, I think in answer to your question, yes, I support it, and also we need to keep it uh, keep it going and not become complacent. Thanks. Like a boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Okay. Knocking on the door, knock, knock. Hi, I'm Tim Yagashima. I'd ask you, are you a parent? Have you ever had a child? Uh, have you ever had a car zoom by and almost hit you? Hit, hit you or your, your child? And what would you tell them? You'd say, hey, you yell at them, slow down. You know, this is, this is our neighborhood. You know, respect it. I've got kids here. So, I mean, I'm sure you all didn't put up a barricade saying no more cars on the street. So regarding an annexation, all I'm saying is, hey, slow down. This is our city. Respect it. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're planning. Build quality. Our family lives here. I ask for your vote for mayor on November 6th. Thanks.